language models for coding just got better. So there was this star coder and star coder base from big code. So these are large language models for code or code LLMs, which have been trained on permissively licensed data from GitHub, including from 80 plus programming languages. Git commits, GitHub issues, and Jupyter notebooks. So these are similar to Llama. So they trained a 15 billion parameter model for 1 trillion tokens. They fine tuned the star coder base model for 35 billion Python tokens, resulting in a new model called star coder. Okay. So these are two uh, code LLMs, right? And they outperform existing uh, open code uh, large language models uh, and they also are better than some uh, closed models such as code Cushman from OpenAI, right? Uh, and this has a context of over 8000 tokens. Okay, so they release this on Hugging Face and they also have a star chat playground where you can actually try it out. So the latest announcement from Big Code says that they are introducing something called as Star Coder Plus and Star Chat Beta. So what they did was they trained the Star Coder on Falcon Models English Web Dataset and instruction tuned it. Both models rank high in the large language model leaderboard with strong natural language performance and coding capabilities. Okay. Um, so let's go to that. Uh, this is your uh, start model art for start chat beta. Okay. Uh, before that, let's look over here. So star coder base showed promise in natural language reasoning despite trained solely on GitHub code. So they fine tuned it on the English web data set used in Falcon pre-training. Okay. This model is called as star coder plus. It's a powerful English language model with strong coding abilities. It outperforms all Llama models and Palm 540 billion on human eval benchmark and stands out in the large language uh, model leaderboard. Okay, for you know models which are smaller than 30 billion parameters, right? With a particular score. Okay. They instruction tuned star coder plus on the open assistant Guanco dataset to get star chat beta, which is a strong chat assistant. Okay. So this can build websites and do much more stuff. Okay. You can actually try it out over here. Okay. So here we have this star chat playground. Uh, this demo basically showcases the star chat language models. Right, the base model has 16 billion parameters, and now you have this star chat beta as well. So you can actually try out star chat beta. Right, for this, you need an Hugging Face account and you need to actually, uh, you know, uh, agree the license over here on the star coder plus page. Okay, so if you go to star chat uh, beta basically over here, and you can try out existing prompts. Um, so first, maybe I'll try out this particular existing prompt on how can I write a Python function to generate the nth Fibonacci number. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it gives out the code for here is an example how you could implement this in Python. So the recursive Fibonacci function and another code optimization function by using tail recursion instead of loops. Uh, so here is another with an optimized performance. Okay, so it gives out both the codes. So maybe here I would want to try out my own prompt, right? So I will write up uh, this thing, right? Write up Python function. To apply pre-processing method on a pandas data frame. Okay. This preprocessing function function converts strings to numbers, and I will say send. Let's see what is the response. Uh, this comes. So one of the way is pd to numeric. Okay. So it gives out the code for 
particular this thing okay uh, so this is one particular code which it gives out one way to do this would be used to pd to numeric and specify errors is equal to which will convert non numeric data to nan then you can create a new column containing only the numeric columns and drop the original ones here is some sample code so it basically generates the code for what i have asked okay may not be the exact thing but uh, you know somewhere close to that maybe i will clear chat and then start with a fresh context and i will say that okay uh, i want python method to uh, parse a column of dates and convert them them into mmddyyy format let's see what it gives okay dates and returns a time series okay so pd date to time convert the input uh, date to date time objects using date util parser okay yeah i would have liked to wrap it into a function or it just directly gives me the code over here okay so this is star chat beta right you can try out this model over here uh maybe let's try out one more example over here just to see how it works so the prompt over here is given the following data uh show up both a histogram of height by age on the left axis and a kernel density estimate of age on the right axis so you can do sns joint plot function to visualize it's a joint kd plot you can replace age and height with other numerical columns so it gives out the code okay so this was a short demo on the star chat playground so here you have details of star code plus uh basically you have to agree the license agreement that's what is written over here i have already logged in and i have agreed for the license so it shows me over here so it kind of gives you the model summary as star code plus is a fine tuned version of star coder base on 600 billion tokens from the english web data set redefined web with star coder data from stack v2 and a wikipedia data set it's a 15.5 billion parameter language model trained on english and 80 plus programming languages it makes use of multi query attention a context window of 8192 tokens and was trained using fill in the middle objective so fill in the middle objective is you uh, some uh, part of text is given and then there is a slot and which needs to be filled and then you have rest of the text okay for example import numpy as np so probably import dash as np right and it tries to fill in that particular uh, word over there so it was trained using that objective uh the intended use is that uh, uh, it is not an instruction model which is this star coder plus is not an instruction model um so um commands like this do not work well so what you have to do over here is that you have to try using say um next word generation kind of this thing that's how you will use it in the code okay but if you look at uh star chat beta then it is an instruction fine tuned model okay of the star coder plus so what they said is that if you remove the uh, inbuilt alignment of open ai assistant dataset because star uh, this is a fine tuned version of instruction fine tuned version of star coder plus which was trained on uncensored variant of the open assistant given co dataset so removing the built in alignment of the open assistant dataset boosted performance and made more helpful at coding tasks however this means that model is likely to generate problematic text when prompted to do so and should be used for educational and research purposes because this is uncensored variant of the dataset okay so here further details are given and you can actually try it out uh the model was fine tuned on a variant okay so we have, uh, contains a diverse range of dialogues okay so what they have done is that this star chat beta is a, a general chat uh, model as well okay it is not just a coding thing it is a general chat uh, model as well for example i can try out this prompt what is the meaning of life let's see what kind of uh, text gets generated answer to what has been debated throughout history some argue that finding purpose and fulfillment so it gives a 
response over here okay ultimately there may not be a single answer which is very true okay so this was a short video on star coder and star coder plus star coder beta from big code uh, you can try it out i will be putting the link to the announcement of uh, the star coder blog you can read for more details over here and the link to all the resources like a uh, star coder plus star coder chat playground in the description of the video i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video